the blueprint. You're going to start from the giant crow to the six out of the water, and you are going to head about two notches to the left of southwest until you reach a hole in the Grand Reef pile. And you're going to stop there whenever you get there. I'm going to instruct you on where to go next. So going here, you're going to 100% need the Seamoth with a Mark III depth module and perimeter defense. You're also going to want to bring a stasis rifle and a knife and a sea glide. But you don't need a laser cutter for this spot because it's not a wreck. It's a base, like a little mini base. Now the two main thrusts you're going to run into here, you're going to run into warpers, which you already talked about, but I'll talk about them again, just in case. They can teleport you out of your Seamoth or whenever you're swimming around regularly, you can attack them with a knife until they take enough damage to warp away. Or you can just run away from them on your sea glide if they do attack you. Or you can hit them with perimeter defense if you're fast enough. And the new threat you're going to run into here are crabs, which can disable your vehicle if they like shoot off their little EMP attack. So you can counter the EMP by either staying super far above them or super far below them. Or you can hit them with perimeter defense if you're fast enough before they can let off their little EMP to make them run away. And you can also just shoot a shoot them with a stasis rifle because they can't shoot the EMP. Oh, I think they can shoot the EMP while they're frozen, but it won't like disable your little freezing field. So you can still have time to run away. So, so yeah, perimeter defense, stay above or beneath them and stasis rifle. So once you reach this giant little hole in the Grand Reef, you're going to want to head down through this hole. You're going to be in a cave and the water should be like a greenish, greenish color, sort of. Like you can see right now. So just go straight down in the caves. And then once you're straight down in the cave like this, you are going to look north and you're going to head straight north for like a few meters, a few hundred meters. And you should see the Degasi base right in front of you. You can see it right now. <laughs> yep. Now at this base you aren't exactly going to find the alien containment in a data box, but you will be able to already already on board. You're not going to find the data box for the alien containment, but you are going to be able to find the actual I mean, dang. this is the alien containment thingy right here and you're going to be able to scan it whenever you uh, come down here. I think I already have it, that's why it's not letting me scan it. Uh, yeah, I already have it, that's why it's not letting me scan it. But yeah, whenever you come down here, it's gonna let you... You'll be able to scan this, this entire little thing. And then it'll give you the... Bro, can you not be annoying for three and a half seconds? Anyways, that is all I had for y'all, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.